Welcome to the Young Crones Cafe, where you can get a magic brew full of all sorts of information, both witchy and practical. Grab a cup of coffee and join us. I'm Elizabeth, a wordsmith. And I'm Dave, a modern-day sage. We are going to talk about various witchcraft and life topics from a slightly more mature perspective, at least most of the time. Thanks for joining us. Here's a little something from the Young Crones Cafe to get you through until our next regularly scheduled episode. Slight conversation today about organizing the magical and the mundane in our lives. Now, I'm ta- not talking about those little daily practices things, but I tend to set reminders in my phone for everything nowadays, including most daily practices, so that it pings at me and said, you who you haven't had a glass of water yet, you know, you might want to contemplate drinking one and having a little thanks or putting some energy in it or whatever. Or for me, I have my little tea light <laughs> next to the coffee maker so that I can start my day in the way that I choose to do so. No, I'm talking about the bigger things like making time for ritual, making time to meditate. These are things that you have the right to schedule into your life just like you do all the appointments you have for you, anybody who's dependent on you, work-related due dates, etc. Sometimes you just need to block out a space in your calendar and stick with it. There have been times when I have wanted to do ritual and thought about doing ritual, and then when it was actually time to do ritual, I had already scheduled other things that prevented me from taking that magical break that I needed today i have learned to schedule time for the magical if i want to do a full moon ritual i put it in the calendar and then i tell people sorry i can't meet with you then i tell the grandchildren who live with me guess what grandma's going to do ritual and shut my door or go outside and do whatever it is i want to do it's a big thing i'm focusing on nowadays is I have to give myself permission almost to be spiritual, to want to practice witchcraft, to take time for myself to do the things that I know benefit my own personal growth and development. And this is just a quick little reminder that you have the right to do that too. Sometimes we may have to make adjustments. I may want to do a ritual on the night of the full moon itself, but I do have that three-day period in there where the moon appears in the sky, and most people recognize that as the times of the full moon, and any of those days would be perfectly acceptable if I do have something that I can't miss in the mundane on the exact date and time. And the other thing you have to remember is ritual does not have to be bound by whatever conventions we seem to think we have to have. Yeah, it'd be great to have that full moon energy. But if I want to do something that creates a full moon effect, I don't actually have to do it on the full moon. I can just visualize the energy for myself or think about it in terms of this is what the full moon energy is supposed to be. So with that being said, today, Take a few minutes and look at your schedule for the next week or two and stick in those times where you want to do something magical and change things around if you need to or adapt your schedule to what it needs to be. So with that being said, may you find mirth and reverence in all things. It looks like the coffee cups are empty for this week. We hope you join us again next Tuesday, but you can find us at our website, twoyoungcrones.com. That's the number two, Young Crones. We'd love to have you join our growing online Discord community. Check out our new Patreon presence. Just look for Young Crones Cafe. Through Patreon, you'll be able to make it to our Discord. We are also Young Crones Cafe on Twitter and Facebook. Until then, remember... We are witches who work with energies to affect change. We are believers in both imminent and transcendent divine. We are celebrants of the passage of the solar and lunar cycles. We are hedge walkers who pass back and forth between the worlds of the magical and the mundane. We are seekers of knowledge. And we are walkers of a spiritual tradition we call the path. So mote it be. So mote it be.